Mm. I think I found my new home. You see, my name, Dina al Gamal, means Dina the Camel. So here at the Camelicious Farm, I've been very welcomed. Hey, I think I see my third cousin over there. Gamal! This farm is home to 3,000 camels who are pampered with baths and scrumptious food. They get groomed and even have their own fitness instructors. And in return, these very comfortable camels give us milk, which turns out is not like any other milk I've tried. This is the milking parlor of Emirates Industries for camel milk and products, Camelicious, okay. uh, where we're milking our camels two times a day. And this is the first large-scale milking parlor in the whole world. Okay, well, I've actually never tried camel's milk, but why would anyone drink camel milk over cow's milk? Well, there are several benefits. Mm -hmm. First of all, it has lower fat content and then much higher vitamin C than in a cow milk. Mm -hmm. There are a few differences. The protein in the camel milk is different, mm -hmm. and usually people are not allergic to this. Here the milk has been pasteurized for safe human consumption. Okay. And then here's the place where again it's been converted into various products as per market demand. Like we make uh, white milk and also flavored milk. Okay, so we're here in the filling room, correct? Yeah. From the, what we saw earlier was the processing. The milk which has been processed is brought here to fill in bottles okay. for the end product to go to the market. But uh, before that, it has to be tested for the safe consumption. This is the place where the products which we have done online, we do testing and the processing while filling, while receiving. So various stages, we do the analysis. That's the thing which you see here. And the final product is being checked here to get the product released for market. I can already feel how cold it is. <laughs> Okay, we've got chocolate here, I see. Dates, lemon, and strawberry. Let's try the strawberry. Mm. This is amazing. Tastes like a milkshake. I'm impressed. And we've saved the best for last. The magical part when the camel milk gets turned into camel milk chocolate, the world's only El Nesma chocolate. Mm. So how did the idea of camel milk chocolate actually come about? Everything started with the creation of this farm here by the Dubai government, 3,000 camels that give a fantastic quality milk and that's what we should call it just need. Without a good milk, we can't make good chocolate. So how have people, not just in the UAE, but abroad reacted to the idea of you know, chocolate coming from camels? The reaction is phenomenal. We are, until now, we are overwhelmed really by the action. You have to imagine the Japanese, the Europeans, many Arabs from all over the Arabic world are really you know, they're calling us every day, they're demanding the chocolate. We are sending chocolate out to the world basically uh, every day. And that's really very, very rewarding feeling. Do you think that camel's milk is always going to be treated as something exotic or could it actually one day replace cow's milk? We are something special. We're not for every day. This is special chocolate and it's something for a special occasion for E, birthdays, special celebrations. And we like that. What products have you recently introduced? Because uh, I know you have some interesting projects going on. Well, if you want to try something really nice, go to our cafe in Mall of the Emirates. We serve camelate there, camelcino. You can sit down and sip on a very traditional yet modern drink. From flavored camel milk to camel chocolate to camel chinos, camels are clearly making their way out of the desert into our, well, stomachs. Not bad, guys. Proud to be part of the camel family. <laughs>